All right, what's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. So, Raven Flock, how you doing today? How you doing today? You got to be chilling out. Hope everybody's enjoying their day out there. I was, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Once again, we're here to talk about OTAs, mandatory OTAs, a.k.a. minicamp. T day two had concluded today, and all that's left is day three. Though day three isn't actually any on-the-field practices. It's more so meetings and conditionings. That's what they chose to do this time around. So today was the last day. The players are going to be on the field doing, you know, drills and practices. So let's get into it. How did that go? Well, as I said with day one yesterday, it was all about the defense. Defense was making plays while the offense was struggling to get into rhythm. They were having issues and, you know, all the quarterbacks were getting picked off. So that's kind of how that day went. But I did tell you guys there, knowing how Lamar is and knowing how these guys are on offense, they were definitely going to be more improved for the following practice. It's practice. You get better. You learn. You make mistakes. And you come back better the next day. And boy, did the offense come back better the next day here. So it was night and day. Day one was for the defense. Today's practice was for the offense. Though defense did make some plays, including, you know, Marlon Humphrey picking off Lamar Jackson on a deep pass. So good for Humphrey. Hopefully that can, you know, translate to the game. Because I know Humphrey is dying to get a lot of interceptions this upcoming season. He's hoping he can get that going. You know, he sees Marcus Peter constantly getting, just being a ball hawk and getting those interceptions. I know Humphrey wants to do that as well. Hopefully he can do that this season. We'll see. But other than that, it was really more so the offense doing their thing and getting better in the passing game and being more of a in rhythm today as opposed of as opposed to how day one was. So um any standouts, any standouts? Definitely, definitely. Well, two standouts really. One, Lamar Jackson. In terms of today's practice, they said Lamar Jackson had the best practice he's had the entire offseason. He was very efficient with the ball and he was very, um, let's just say, horrific with the ball. Or how do you want to say that? How do you want to say that? The man was throwing bombs out there. Let, let, me, let me just say it like that. The man was throwing bombs out there. He was very efficient outside the numbers. And they said he looked nice. This was the best practice throwing-wise Lamar Jackson looked out there today. And the other player we got to look at, Sammy Watkins. He was a standout player today. Sammy Watkins and Lamar Jackson are building a nice connection, and it's nice to see. In fact, Sammy Watkins made the play of the practice where he caught a 50-yard bomb from Lamar Jackson in stride when he was covered by Humphrey. He managed to beat Humphrey on the coverage, going down the sideline in stride, caught a 50-yard bomb, and I believe it ended up resulting in a touchdown. So you got to love it. Sammy Watkins is already making an impact, and he's already building chemistry with Lamar Jackson. This is good news to hear if you're a Ravens fan. You know, we don't exactly know how the season's going to go in terms of Sammy Watkins health, staying healthy, but, you know, we're hoping and we're praying he can stay healthy for the season and definitely make an impact because this is a weapon Lamar can utilize very efficiently, and you can already tell early on they're building some sort of chemistry, which is nice to hear. Uh, other than that, for the most part, the offense, again, they were better. They, they performed better today than they did yesterday in, in yesterday's practice. And they were more careful with the ball. They were sharper with the ball, more accurate with the ball. However, there were still some issues in terms of the snapping, in terms of you know false starts and all these other penalties that were happening, which does make sense. Got to make a correction. Not snapping, just clarifying that. Just It was false starts. Snapping's fine. Okay, Bozeman's fine. But it was just the false starts. Which makes sense because, again, we retooled our offensive line. So, you know, these are a bunch of new guys trying to work in, with each other and work in these different positions. So it's going to take time for everybody to be on sync. But that's what practice is for. Get this in order and they should be fine. So everything's all good there. Other than that, offense had a really good practice. And it's a great way to end off these OTAs. With day three now just being conditioning and meetings. Uh, safe to say there were some good things we saw out there. One last good thing we saw out there was... Uh, Clayus Campbell actually helping out Matabike with some, um, giving him some tips and just helping him out throughout practice, which is one great thing you, you love to see. You know, just a great leader going out there and helping the young guys. You love to see it. Also, Rob Ryan was out there helping out the young, our young linebackers. So it's also another great thing to see. Just defense, working on perfecting their craft, working on getting better. The veterans helping out the young guys. Our coaches helping out our young guys. Great to see it. So overall, great practice. Great way to end this whole, 
you know, mini camp. And the next time we'll see these guys out there should be for training camp. So there's still some time left. But speaking of that, let's actually get into Lamar Jackson's press conference because he said a bunch of interesting things regarding this. For one, when they asked him what he's been doing this offseason, one thing he focused on improving on was his footwork because a lot of times he kind of likes to throw the ball flat-footed and just like his base isn't wide enough. And we there are plenty of times we see it in the game where just his base isn't wide enough and his footwork just needs some help. He took this time this, in this offseason to focus on doing that because if he can improve on his footwork and have a wider base, he'll be able to drive the ball, which is exactly what he said. He focused on doing that so he can drive the ball more downfield, which is exactly what he's trying to do. Speaking of downfield, he actually worked on his downfield passing in the offseason with his receivers. And that is something that, you know, he has been very critical on and something he's been focusing and emphasizing with his receivers because apparently he's tired of the whole narrative that he can't throw the ball down the field and he's just an intermediate passer, which is definitely the label people put on him. So he's trying to get this deep ball going, this deep, the, the deep ball passing going with his receivers. He wants that to be more consistent. And so far in practice, it's going well. They're making strides and it's great to hear, but we need that to translate to the game. And hopefully Lamar's like, with the work we're putting in, hopefully the deep ball, um, the deep passing game can translate into the games and we can be far more consistent with that. So that's another good thing to hear. He's been working on this deep ball with his receivers. They've been working on trying to get that connection, which is something they were also working on last offseason, but they didn't have much time to really work on it, which is why we saw a lot of times during last season, it wasn't where it needed to be, especially that connection between him and Hollywood. That didn't start getting going until the, towards the end of the season, which is like, that's tough because that would have helped us early on. There were a lot of times they just missed each other. So they're putting in the work, trying to get it done now. And we'll just see what happens and see how it translates. Can't wait for training camp. And we'll see what happens with that. Another thing Lamar talked about. Um, obviously, we know about this whole contract situation. And they definitely asked him, is he focused on getting a contract? Because, you know, he's going to go into his last year and this whole contract situation. They're going to continue to bring it up. Will he get signed before the season? Will they give him an extension during the season? Is Lamar Jackson even focused on that? And, of course, Lamar being Lamar, he's not focused on that. He's focused on one thing and one thing only, getting his team to a Super Bowl and winning a Super Bowl championship. That's his entire focus. So great to hear Lamar say that. We already know where Lamar's mindset is. We're not surprised to hear him say that. Uh, one thing I also want to bring up was um, in terms of his work with his receivers, he plans to work with his receivers during this one month period before training camp, go out to Florida, bring a couple guys there, and he plans to work his re with his receivers up there in Florida. So that's great because you already know he's been doing that. He's been working with his guys. We heard about them going out to Arizona, him and a couple guys, and a couple of the other players working out there in Arizona. So he plans to Bring some receivers, definitely, or have a couple receivers. Anyone that's up there in Florida, they'll just work out and try to continue to focus on building up that chemistry and improving that deep ball pass game to hopefully be more consistent for this upcoming season. And I can't wait to hear about that. We'll definitely be seeing some stories about that between now and training camp. So glad to see he's still putting it in. I'm still putting the work in because he's he's not done with this, man. Like you said, man, <laughs> we're no longer in the off season. We're in go mode. So it's clear as day, Lamar Jackson is locked in. He is locked in and he is ready for the NFL season. He's already ready to go and he's already getting his guys ready as well. I don't know exactly who's going to be up there, but, you know, it's probably going to be the usual. You'll probably see Hollywood Brown up there. You'll probably see Sammy Watkins, definitely. You may see Mark Andrews. You might see J.K. Dobbins. There's definitely going to be a good chunk of receivers up there, but I know one people are definitely hoping to be up there is Miles Boykin because at this point, if Boykin's not up there, People are just going to have questions as to whether or not he's ever going to have chemistry with Lamar Jackson. But uh, other than that, we don't really exactly uh, know who he's going to bring up there. But we just know he plans to meet up with his receivers in Florida and they can have a couple practices between now and training camp. So that's exactly great to hear. All in all, from his press conference, it's clear as day Lamar is still Lamar. He's still focused on bringing his team a Super Bowl championship. He's focused on improving. He's continue to put in the work and he'll continue to put in the work and he's continuing to try and build chemistry with his guys especially Sammy Watkins who he said it's fun to have because you know you got a big guy like that a big body receiver that you know you can trust and build that chemistry especially towards especially when it comes to deep ball passing to have a big receiver like that to be able to throw the ball down the field and trust that he can make that play 
is fun for him. Hey, Ravens, that's kind of a sign. Maybe you should get more, you know, physical, big wide receivers for Lamar. Because clearly he's having fun with them. Isn't that a clear sign, Ravens? Isn't that a clear sign? But whatever. All in all, his press, his press conference pretty much showed Lamar's just locked in. He's locked in and focused on getting ready for the Raiders. He's focused on getting ready for this upcoming NFL season. And he's hoping that all the work they're putting in and all the chemistry they're trying to build up with the receivers, hopefully it can pay off. But we'll see what happens. Other than that, there's not much to talk about. Uh, that pretty much wraps up day two of this mini camp. And day three, there's not much to talk about there. It's going to be mostly... Um, meetings and conditioning like i've already said if any updates come up between you know tomorrow we'll definitely talk about it but other than that that pretty much wraps it up and the next time we'll see everyone out there should be for training camp so everyone should be ready until then but yeah that's really all i got for this uh just wanted to get the information out there and do my thing you know how it is but yeah ramus flock gotta love what you're hearing about lamar jackson and this receiving core working on this deep ball game because they gotta get that to be consistent if they can get the passing attack to be consistent, especially downfield, we can really be effective. But with that being said, that's all I got, man, and I'm out of here. Peace.